Hello everybody, this is Skyrim Sensor 4 here, and this is part 2 of the Let's Play Mario Kart 64. And in the last part, we had uh, completed the Mushroom Cup of 150cc. And we did it with Mario. Now, because I know a lot of you might like other characters, I'm going to randomly pick someone different for every single cup. So there's four cups. Eight races. Yeah, there we go. So we'll have a different person in each cup. So now we're going to do flower cup. I feel. Hmm, what do I feel? Get <coughs> <coughs> Mario first. Um, you know what? Let's. Uh, let's. Let's go Yoshi. Yeah, let's, let's go Yoshi. For a flower cup, yeah. Okay, so the first course of the game of this uh, cup is Toad's Turnpike, and in my opinion, this is the much better version than the Mario Kart Wii. Uh, no, Mario Kart 8 remake of the of, uh, course. Because I believe you can mirror. Actually, I think I'm pretty sure there's uh, traffic coming from both directions in that in that uh, remake. But I don't own a Wii U, so I cannot say with 100% certainty. But the thing that makes this one much harder than the Wii U remake is the cars, because one thing that makes it hard is that the the characters have ridiculous knockback for when the blast when you blast them they blast really high in the air. Whereas in most other Mario Kart games they might just like flip in the ground or something. Oh crap! I anticipate that happening too. So it has a star. Oh, don't touch me, Toad. Can't touch this. Yeah. But the other thing that also makes uh, this harder is that there's the cars can go really fast. And that is annoying. And when the hell did Princess get so hard? So not hard. So far ahead. Okay, I'm not speak to you. I, was, I thought Toad was actually just going to run for me. I'll have to watch that footage again. Oh! And I gotta say, of all the Mario Karts, Red Shells are the most useless here because they act like complete homo missiles. That's just ridiculous. Mind you, the blast, because of the. how high the uh, projectiles will hit you like shells and whatnot. It sort of makes up for it, but still, like, they hit the guardrails almost all the time. That's just annoying. Get a star, that will still help. Okay. Ooh, yes, Peach is going down. There we go, we're first. Eat fake item blocks, princess. I think also the, this is by far one of the hardest tracks on Mirror Mode, and we, we will be doing this sooner or later. I know exactly what I'm going to play when I do that run in Mirror Mode, because it's going to be just really challenging. Okay, so Yoshi first, Peach second, Toad third, Wario fourth, and uh, Mario, Luigi, DK, and Bowser tied for fifth. Grapes and all that, huh? This is another place where it's very... It's very infamous for its uh, bridge glitch. Which you can skip a lap. If you go behind the bridge, and then jump onto the snowbank without actually touching the ground. The, the track, I mean. 
And I think to myself, like, who the, on earth had the time to find out that? I'm sure they did it by a complete accident, but still, those are very specific things that you need to do to figure out something like that out. So props to whoever figured that out. And this has the very stupid obstacle of the snowman. I am not a very fun. Yeah, and that's one thing I gotta say. I really like the fake item blocks here. False item blocks. They actually look almost identical to the, uh, the real ones. The only difference is that the question mark inside is upside down instead of right side up. And nowadays it's like the marker, especially in Double Dash, it's like they color them red and then they, uh, you can easy, easily tell that they You can easily tell that they're fake. In my opinion, that just kind of ruins it a little bit. I do like the fact that they look so similar. It's easy to, it's easy to get them confused. But most of the time, I mean, you should be able to differentiate. You know anything about Mario Kart? Yes, sir. The snowmen are very helpful. You can just go to the right side of the statue, the Mario statue, I believe it is. You can just avoid the snowmen altogether. See, that's what I was talking about earlier. I don't know if you guys heard from part one or not. But I'm getting... I just got a red Koopa shell in first place. Not that I'm complaining, but the, the items are definitely way out of balance in this game. Five seconds ahead. Alright, so that's two firsts. If anyone who saw the Mushroom Cup run in part one saw me get a second on the Calamar Desert, so let's try and redeem ourselves. Let's try and get as many first places as we possibly can. Ooh, that's my good. Take that, Toad. Mario. Oh, holy oh, shit. Yeah, take that. Princess! Yeah, okay. Yeah, stay behind me. You wanna get some? Yeah. And blast your ass with some shell. Or a mushroom. Those jumps are very difficult because. Oh, they're just hard. Throughout this entire let's play, I'm sure you guys have realized this already, but I'm not going to take any shortcuts unless that's intended by the game, which I don't think there is any. The tracks are fairly straightforward. Um, or any glitches, I'm not going to do that. There's just something about playing realistic that makes you look like a professional. When you're playing the one player, one thing I've, I've noticed is that you usually don't have to defend yourself against like other items like shells or whatever, because I've owned this game since pretty much it came out, and uh, the computers, I gotta say, one thing they don't do is fire any kind of shells at you, which is kind of weird, but at the same time, the game is difficult in other ways, so I guess it makes up for it. But there's another first, yay! Yeah, the computers will not get either green, blue, or red shells. But look at everything else. It's kind of weird they're not playing with a full set of items. But whatever. 27 points. Okay, Peach, Toad, and Mario.
This is the shortest track. Mario Raceway is the shortest track in the game. I think it's only like 537 meters or something, according to the game. I'm probably wrong on the single digits, but it's uh, it's in the 500s, I believe, as far as the general line. And this is actually one of my more preferred tracks in the Flower Cup. Not that I dislike the other ones, but this one, there's something special about this one. I think it's because it's a very straightforward track and there's... The road is fairly easy to see. And, I don't know, it just stands out. It's a good track. Come on, Yoshi, we can do this. I guess I should have saved that show. Whatever. Yeah, princess. Oh. oh no no. Now my cost lets her for first place. Especially since you knowing where the computers are now. Shit, I was doing so well up until that point. Oh no, we're, we're not gonna get it. I missed an item box. That is unfortunate. So third place. You know what? It's funny. It's always the last track that gets us. So we've, uh, out of eight tracks, we've only had six first place, which isn't bad, it's still a majority, but. A second and a third, oh, that's nuts. All because I missed that banana. Oh, I hit that banana. Yeah. Anyways, this is Sky Sense of Force signing off for part two of the Let's Play Super Mario Kart 64. Let's go Super Mario 64. Yeah. I will see you guys in the next part. Take care, guys.